What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 73 update. This week they've added four C packs into the game and tons of future content news. Also, news about fishing. Let's get into it, shall we? But wait, guys, this video is going to be a little different. Anytime throughout this video you see a cooked fatty T bone on the screen, count it. There's going to be several cooked fatty T bones starting now on the screen. And the first two people who tell me how many cooked fatty T bones were on the screen for this video will get their own personal rank called the Observant One. And only two people in the whole history of our channel will have this rank. I won't let anybody else have this role. So this is super special. You do have to join our Discord. The link is in the description down below. And once you join the Discord, just message me, Late Night Stream, on the Discord with your guests. You get one guess and one guess only. So make it a good one. So week 73 seed packets, Icarus week 73 update, seed packets in the orbital workshop. Seed packets have been added to the orbital workshop for Avocado, Kumara, and more, and also big news on Galileo. Week 73 brings seed packets for their recently introduced fruit and veggies to the orbital workshop. It has been one of their biggest weeks of working on the upcoming Galileo patch, and they've made substantial progress on all three key features, including fishing, achievements, and bestiary. While smaller in terms of content, this week they are giving you a sneak peek in the fishing and move closer to the launch of this much anticipated feature. Jump in and have a read. So we had seed packets, guys. They've added seed packets for the most recent fruit and veggie additions to the Orbital Workshop. These include avocado, kumara, strawberry, and rhubarb. So players can now access those without having to complete simple quests in open world mode. When used on the planet, these provide five seeds each so multiple packets can be a good ideal for larger groups of players and longer deployments. But me personally, I've never had to use more than five seeds because you can continuously reseed your veggie or fruit. So guys, this is the climax of the update video. We are going to show you these new seed packets. So in the workshop, we have the new seed packets for the avocado, the farming seed pack for it. And all these items are researched for 50 ren and 20 crafting cost. So the first time you get it, it's 70 ren and then 20 for each time you need a new packet. And of course, you got to unlock the avocado and the other prerequisites. You have to unlock all those in a chain before you can get to these. But you also can unlock the strawberry farming packet, kumara farming packet, and of course the rhubarb farming packet. And of course these are workshop items. You can just click them and craft them for them to go to your inventory. And then now you can drop down with them anytime you want to. And of course once you get down planet side you have the farming packets and all you have to do is kind of right click them and hit consume. And you'll make a chewing sound. Let me eat some of this fatty T-bone here. And then you'll get five of the seeds. So now you can go and plant that and then reseed it once it comes back up again. And continuously reseed it until you have a large stock of resources. And then you can stock up on all kinds of fruits and vegetables like we have here. Every single one of these are completely full of the respective fruit or vegetable that is planted in it. And we keep them fresh constantly all day long. You want to know how? Well, this character has the freshest best perk. So this means that grown crops and crafted crop plots do not wither once they have finished growing. What it means is that you have to craft crop plot that you want to grow in. And you'll see in the alterations here to the left of the crop plot that we have evergreen one, which is planted crops won't wither. So that means that this won't wither. This won't wither. No matter how long you leave it in there. And we also have the Galileo update. While this may be the smallest weekly update that they've done, that's because the team has been fishing. This has been a big week for work on the upcoming Galileo patch, and they've added lots of fish to the available pool. Tested the animations and mechanics thoroughly and, and worked on the UX of the fishing hook. They've also submitted all content on the internal systems for achievements, badges, profiles, emotes, so they can move through Steam's approval process. This process can take a couple of days, so they're getting these in early so that you can be ready when they launch Galileo. They've also completed a substantial pass on the UI UX of the bestiary, completing many of the outstanding tasks required to move this to the final stages of its work. 
And as you can see here, they have a little picture of a guy fishing. And that looks like the fishing animation for the fishing rod and what the fishing rod looks like. And also down here, we have another picture of a guy fishing. And they want everybody's help to translate Icarus into your language. They're seeking motivated and passionate individuals to join their volunteer localization team to help bring Icarus to more players. They're currently only looking for Spanish, L-A-T-A-M, and Brazilian Portuguese. But other languages may be considered in the future. They have a link, and we do have a link to this in our description down below. And make sure you have joined the official Icarus Discord as well. To apply that's how they contact you is via discord so we're moving on to the change log this week and in the new content section the only thing they have is the avocado rhubarb and strawberry and kumara seed packets and the unlocking of those and in the fix section this week fix a number of typos looks like they fixed a bug where if you dropped a corpse it would become a t-pose and more typos and we got a ginormous future content section this week. We'll go over the most prominent things here. Talking about the Wooly Zebra again. And they're talking about the Tier 1 Fishing Rod. A Shamwa variant? Maybe? Fair. Jay will bring up Bestiary. Talking about the Needlers. Looks like they added a level requirement for the Tier 3 Aquarium. It looks like they're working on the meshes for the fishes. For the skeletons. And it looks like you might be able to physically drag your lure onto land using your movement. Mention fishing as a mini game. Fix typo and biological containment unit item text. Tweaking a fishing mini game to work with fishing in game. So they're going to have a fishing mini game. Going to have quite a few different types of fish, it looks like. They're working a lot on the fishing and finishing animations and everything. So it looks like they're wrapping up a lot of fishing and working on the fish color variations. Tons of stuff in here about fishing, fishing animations, stuff like that. The woolly zebra again. Looks like the original swamp was super loud. <laughs> and they had the first phase of the Lava Hunter animations and behaviors. Adding Bomber Broodling and Flyer Broodling assets for the Lava Hunter boss fight. Just tons of work on fishing, guys. Hanging ferns and root vines. And it looks like there's going to be a minimum distance for lures. They have a prototype of the geyser rework for better performance. So they're thinking about reworking the geysers. They've been talking a lot about the Lava Hunter as well. Adding assets for GL music, track one. Working a little bit more on the atmosphere controller. Move similar functions like the new ashhail.etc into existing weather NPC functions to keep down function bloat. Ashhail? And they're working a lot on the blueback too. And I tell you what, guys, comment down below if you'd like to see a video of what the blueback and the bat dog and all those creatures look like here in the future content section and if this video gets a hundred likes before the next update video we do we'll make a video with spoilers of course clearly marked of all the new creatures from data mining swamp bird corpse pointing to a live by creating dead version swamp bird physics they're adding bone, steel, platinum, titanium, carbon, and composite shield items, recipes, blueprints, and they're dev locked out for now. And apparently the tier 3 aquarium will run off biofuel, enable additional emitters on sandworm reseed effect, which improves visuals. Fix Joshua Tree asset file names. Adding wind turbine. Blueprint recipe feature locked out. So we're going to have the wind turbine soon. I wonder if that's going to be like every once in a while, a piece of sticks or something flies into it and you're going to have to clean it out. God, I hope not. <laughs> God, I hope that's just pure power that we don't have to actually babysit. Looks like they might have spawn blocking and fix the spawn blocker recipes. Spawn blocker. Maybe they'll block spawns from spawning. Spawn blocker, tier two. So it looks like we're gonna have some kind of spawn blocker, something that's gonna block spawns. That would be pretty cool. Updates the Lava Hunter and added Lava Hunter Egg, SK and DM. Working a little bit more on the new predatory bird and Lava Hunter. Re-enabling base smoke weather. That would actually be pretty cool if there were something that would, except for like a, a sandstorm where visibility is almost zero. They have like a storm where it's solid smoke and you can't see or something. Smoke storm or smoke weather would be pretty cool. Annoying, but pretty cool. Lost quest. And that looks like that's it for this change log. That is a huge feature content section, guys. 
lots and lots of fishing, lots and lots of bestiary, tons of future content. And we just want to say thank you to the late night crew. Thank you so much to Sandy, Woofy, Sergio, and KHX. Thank, thank you guys so much for being part of the late night crew and for supporting the channel. And everybody show some love to them in the comments down below. And guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel will get you weekly Chris update videos just like this one and content videos as well. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.